let's go on a walk at Masjid Aqsa. You have to visit Jerusalem to discover the many secrets of Aqsa Mosque. Let me give you a sneak peek tour starting with a bird's eye view. So there's a lot of confusion. What is Masjid Aqsa? Masjid Aqsa is this entire area, including the Dome of the Rock, Masjid Qibli, and the entire courtyard. Here's another look at the entire compound to help you visualize it from a scale model. From the courtyard, the two main prayer spaces are Masjid Qibli on this side, but first, let's explore the main prayer space, Masjid Qibli. Masjid Qibli was the first mosque established in Aqsa by Umar ibn al-Khattab. Here you can actually see the original mihrab of Salahuddin al-Ayyubi, the famous historical liberator of Jerusalem. This is almost 900 years old. The beautiful stained glass windows are so ornate, but sadly many of them have been broken, damaged, and destroyed by Israeli attacks. You can see many of the windows are busted, shattered in from the Ramadan 2022 attacks on Aqsa Mosque. Even on the screen petitions in the sister section, you can see bullet holes inside them from, again, the attacks, even up here. So one thing you'll notice is that Aqsa Mosque is extremely open for women. So this is the women's section, and it's not fenced off or anything, there's just these kind of loose partitions. Despite the situation, Masjid Qibli is one of the most peaceful and serene spaces you will have the pleasure of praying in for both men and women. There's also a hidden library under Masjid Qibli. You'll pass by ancient Roman pillars that take you straight back in time. I found these old documents. These are from the British government during the colonization of Palestine. This is from 1942 and 1943 from the British government. And what is the land written here? Palestine. There is this narrative of erasing Palestine as if Palestine never existed. These are colonial documents that show 1942, the land was Palestine. The library has many more historical documents you'll have to discover for yourself. Now let's explore the Dome of the Rock. This is the oldest surviving Islamic architecture in the world today. The octagon base is marble and the blue colored tile mosaic features is an inscription of Surah Yasin. Inside the Golden Dome is inscribed Ayatul Kursi. Inside the Dome of the Rock, you have the beautiful interior of the Golden Dome. And this mosque is shaped like a circle around the original rock here. Remember, this is on a hill. So this is the original rock in the center of the mosque. It's said that this is the location where the Prophet ﷺ ascended for Isra al Miraj. But there's really no evidence to suggest that this is the exact location. We just don't know. Visiting the Dome, we were able to speak to Sayyid Sumira, a master craftsman specializing in the art of dome restoration. The Dome of the Rock is an architectural masterpiece that the Palestinians care for, protect, and preserve. Surrounding both mosques and the entire courtyard are these ancient city walls. You really get a sense of being transported back in time. So this is actually the key to King Faisal Gate. Taking us behind the scenes with Sheikh Samer, one of the Palestinian guards of Aqsa Mosque. The mosque courtyards also have an important function. These are overflow prayer spaces, places for kids to play in safety, and of course meeting places for a sense of belonging that the Palestinian people so need. Every day you'll see new Palestinian couples getting married in Aqsa. Outside the eastern wall is the Baba Rahma Cemetery, 1400 years old, and two companions of the Prophet ﷺ are actually buried here. There's also many tertiary smaller mosques all over the complex. This is the subterranean Masjid al-Burakh, 
Wind down a narrow staircase and you'll find yourself in a small prayer room. There is a marker on the wall in which it is said that this is the location where the Prophet ﷺ tied Burak, a miraculous, mysterious creature, before ascending to heaven during Isra wal Miraj. Next, we explored Marwani Mosque, which is another prayer space in Aqsa that is popular for knowledge circles and students to learn. One of the beautiful things you see in Palestine is the legacy of female scholarship. If you look at the halakas, all women, all the time. This is another group of all women. I hope this behind the scenes tour gave you just a small taste of the many secrets of Al-Aqsa. You'll have to go there yourself to find the rest. So as you can see, Al-Aqsa is such a beautiful mosque with deep history. So I hope you come and walk here for yourself. It's such a privilege. So many Palestinian families who live nearby have never been able to visit Al-Aqsa because of the Israeli occupation. So never forget this blessed place in your du'as. The way that Allah describes this place is, is, is overwhelming. We are at the core of that blessing. Sham in the general sense, and then Palestine in the more specific sense, Beitul Maqdis, Quds, and then Aqsa.